Are these the Dead Sea Scrolls? These are the Dead Sea Scrolls, and this is the place where they were found, and this is why it's so exciting. There is a story, you can see the people behind them. You can see this man running for three kilometers from Qumran with a scroll that described his dream, his temple. The Romans were coming, but he wanted future generation to read it. I don't know his name, but he, he managed to pass, pass it on 2,000 years ago. There are hundreds of caves, but very few with actually um, artifacts or more important documents in it. And let's see it. Come. Just sit down. I do apologize for the atmosphere and the smell, but this is what the real stuff smells like. In this cave, in the early 1950s, the longest and best preserved uh, scroll was found. We call it the Temple Scroll, and it was 8 meter, 15 centimeter long. 2,000 years old parchment with ink letters that my kids can read today. Yes, of course, they are the most gifted kids on earth, <laughs> but the communities that we're going to speak about is known as the ECNs. It's a group of priests, highly educated, so educated that they wrote. They were obsessed with writing. They went to the desert because they were thrown away from Jerusalem. They were thrown away from the temple. So we speak about elite people, educated intellectuals that were bitter. Actually, when you read their script and excuse my language, they were pissed off with the rest of the world. And they were waiting for, like what we have in Christianity, Armageddon. And leave Bruce Willis aside, we're going to speak about the war of good against evil. And they're going to fight everyone else. Not only the Greeks or the Romans, they're going to fight even Jews, that, everyone that is not following their way of thinking. So when you read about them, be careful. What was found here uh, was a temple scroll, and this was uh, a manifest, actually, because this group of priests were thrown from Jerusalem. For them, Jerusalem became impure, and their way was actually to destroy the place and rebuild it. And what we have on 8 meter and 15 centimeter is their vision, archi uh, architectural vision, of how the temple should look like. And for us, it's a present. This is just a dream, but the dream is filled with details about them, their scripts, about the law of the community, and even some gossips about politics of 2,000 years ago, about their hopes, about their fears, and the fact that you can go beyond the matter and speak about the spirit is something that is so very rare in our profession. This is why, for me, I couldn't help myself than dragging you up here just that you smell, smell it, but understand that we walked up. For us, the discovery of this scroll was changing our mind beyond all the details. And, and, and it, this scroll, for example, means the world for us. It really changed our, uh, utterly changed our view about life back then, about the temple and archaeologists, historians, students of religion, just name it. I mean, I think everyone that deal with that period of time in this part of land consults those scripts.